what's up guys i'm back again with another motherfucking video and on this video i am going to chit chat of what's honestly been going on in my life but anyway i miss you guys so fucking much so yeah guys i'm honestly in a car right now so i got my little fashion house outfit on right now and if you guys are interested in seeing a fashion house usa try on haul let me know down below in the comments right now i got my little baton little bag right there and I'm just honestly in a car. Jay right now is at a job fair and I'm in the car right now just making content for you guys. And I honestly thought, you know what? I haven't sat down and talked to you guys really like that in a little minute. So I just said, why the fuck not? But anyway, before I get in this video, make sure you go like, make sure you go comment, make sure you go subscribe and make sure you turn those post notification bells on to all. So when your girl upload, you do not miss. And if you want to be on this road with me on success of 2,000 subscribers, Make sure you stay in touch and you stay in tune with all this content, this drama, this tea, and all this extra shit that your girl got coming out. And I love you guys. So yeah, guys, let me tell you what the fuck really been going on. So um, I looked at like this little uh gig and this gig have where you can clean people homes and stuff like that. I honestly tried out the gig and honestly, I did not like it. So this lady rated me fucking two fucking stars after I cleaned her fucking house. So let me tell y'all a little about the app. So on the app, they're gonna ask you for your name, basically your first, your last name, of course, your middle name, your social security. They want your ID, you have to do a background check. You also have to put your account and routing number. You have to put like your debit card. So after you clean somebody's home, like they honestly would just pay you after, like immediately after. It could be direct deposit or it could go towards like your car, okay? All right. So, and on top of that, it goes by reviews. So when you do clean people's houses, like they can rate you, they can leave comments and stuff like that. And the catch is, you have to bring your own cleaning fucking supplies. So the company name is Homoglow. You can search it up. I can actually put my link in description down below if you in Houston. But um, yeah, I honestly don't think I'm gonna do it again. Like it was horrible. I don't think it was for me. Like for real, for real. I don't honestly think it was for me. So how much you can make on there is about like 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks. It just depends on your rate, how much you charge and the hours they want you to clean their house. So it's not like a top branch or top notch, like, you know, like cleaning service. You know what I'm saying? Like it's regular people trying to make an extra income and want to clean people homes and stuff like that. Just have a little pocket change. So it's not like a five star like cleaning company, if that's what you're thinking. So I know other cleaning services pay more, but this one is more like, you know, like small, convenient a lot of people will honestly like book with homoglow because it's affordable and it's cheaper and they don't have to come out like big pocket change but you're doing it by yourself that is the catch you don't have a team it's just you and that's about it and it goes by the score so when somebody rates you like a bad score or a bad star like your scores go down like the points so you have to have great points in order to achieve like that milestone and keep like a good standing on the home aglow. So um, that was that. But yeah, let me get the fuck into why this bitch rating me fucking two stars. The bitch fucking rating me two stars. So let me tell you, so boom, let me fucking tell y'all. So I honestly did it just to bring in like a little extra income to help Jay. It was only like $45, but I know your girl don't got a car. I don't drive. So like getting to places, going to places, I'd be coming out of like 50, 60, 70, 80, like almost $100 just to get to places, you know, because he has to work. He can't take me places all the time. So I have to get around by myself and stuff like that. But anyway, so Jay dropped me off there. Thank God. So he dropped me off there and it was in Pearland. If you don't know, if you're not in Texas, in Pearland, if you know Pearland has some beautiful homes, blah, blah, blah and boom so i get there i got all my cleaning supplies i get there super super early i was supposed to be there at 8 30 i got there at 801 so i actually showed up 29 minutes early so i get there boom i get to work i cleaned up so i'm gonna tell you guys everything that i cleaned up i cleaned up this woman like uh fucking counters disinfected her whole counters i cleaned up her kids toys the little jumping toy i clean up where like her kids would eat like the little uh eating sitting place or whatever the shit is and I cleaned up her walls, I swept, I mopped, I cleaned up her fucking uh, toaster. Um, I cleaned up behind like her fucking uh, uh, can opener. I cleaned her can opener. Like I cleaned up just a lot of shit like on her fucking counters and all of that stuff. Then I cleaned up the restroom. I um, put Ajax in the tub, cleaned the tub, 
cleaned the floors, mopped, swept. What else the fuck did I do? I cleaned up uh, the counters. Um, I folded up their towels. I had cleaned up their dining room table on the top at the bottom. Um, I fixed their chairs. I cleaned up like, you know, their floors. Like I did a lot of shit. The job was actually for $45. So for $45, I did more than $45 worth of work, right? Anyway, so the shit was for three hours. So I left, I got done. What the fuck I was supposed to get done? So by the time I left, it was 11.41. I actually supposed to leave at 11. So I stayed actually 41 minutes over my time. So I got there 29 minutes early. Then I stayed 41 minutes extra over my time that I was supposed to leave. Got in the car and I put all my cleaning supplies in the fucking car. And after I cleaned up, I went to the um, Siri and I pulled up the website and I clicked like pay out. You can honestly set it as direct deposit or pay out instantly and it goes towards your debit card. So it was pay out instantly. So I got paid like immediately. So I charged her for an extra 30 minutes of my time. So when it was time for her to give me a rating, she rated me two stars. She claimed that I charged her extra without her consent. First of all, bitch, I don't need your fucking approval of why the fuck I charge you extra. Bitch, that's my time. I don't work for fucking free. The fuck? Bitch, I really did more than $45 worth of work. So you wanted me to stay 41 minutes extra of my time for free? Oh no, it don't work that way. And then she said that I didn't fully clean up her whole first floor. So yeah, the bitch has six bedrooms. I honestly don't know how many fucking bedrooms the bitch had, but I know I cleaned up one of them. But anyway, so she had like a little party. So I did my best because it was only me. And her house was really big compared to me and Jay house. Cause you know, I clean up my home. So compared to our fucking one bedroom apartment, compared to her six bedroom house, that's a complete difference. So I only had three hours to clean up the first floor. And honestly, it was very difficult for me because honestly, like she wanted me to rush. And honestly, I want to take my time to make sure the shit was clean. Do you want me to do the shit right? Or you honestly want me to do the shit fucked up? So first of all, the shit was for $45. I did more than $45 worth of work. I had to bring my own shit. I got there 29 minutes early. I had to stay over 41 minutes of my time. And you're mad because I didn't fully complete your first floor? Like, honestly, I did the dining room. I did the kitchen. I didn't get the living room, but I also did the bathroom. So the only place I didn't do was the living room. And the bitch fucking rating me fucking two stars. The bitch claimed that, oh, da 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 like yeah like she was slow like yeah bitch i was slow because i took my fucking time and i fucking by myself in a fucking big ass six bedroom fucking house cleaning up by my fucking self so i took a long time because i was making sure the shit got done right so you won't fucking report me or fucking complain about that and then on top of that she said that honestly like she had a party she needed somebody that was faster and other people clean up her house faster well bitch that's them i'm by myself other cleaning services actually charge more so for all the shit that i did actually it should have been more so i'm not understanding how the fuck you can compare me cleaning your house to somebody else cleaning your fucking house that's probably experienced probably has been doing this for years or probably that has more people like honestly you the first house that i cleaned i got there 29 minutes early i had to stay 41 minutes over my time i was by myself and had to bring my own shit in your house has six bedrooms the first floor was literally like big as shit and you're fucking complaining like you didn't rate me on my cleaning bitch you rate me because i didn't rush to clean your house and you're mad because i charge you 30 minutes of my fucking time bitch i don't fucking work for free like so when other people see that and want to book me they're not gonna fucking want to book me because the bitch gave me fucking two star rating and now that shit fucked up my shit and when you get a two star rating it fucks up your point scale it goes by point scale you have to have a certain amount of point scales in order to be at a certain good standing or outstanding or whatever standing on the account for your cleaning service on the homoglow app so that fucks up people want to book me that fucks up my points and everything yeah you gave me a fucked up rating because i didn't complete your living room because i didn't have enough time but i did everything else and i cleaned it up very diligently and i did it very professionally and not even that because i fucking took my time to do the shit right would you rather somebody do the shit right or do the shit fucked up you have a fucking six bedroom house 
Honestly, did you think three hours honestly was enough to clean a six bedroom house? Like, what the fuck was she expecting for forty five dollars? I'm not understanding. But anyway, that was my stupid ass for even accepting a job because honestly, it should have been more. Honestly, I don't know why the fuck I accepted a cleaning service job for fucking forty five dollars. I don't even know why the fuck my dumbass did that shit. But I did it to help Jay. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. Honestly, what the fuck has been going on? And honestly, how somebody gave me a two star fucking rating on a fucking cleaning gig that I fucking did, which was horrible. Do not recommend. The bitch had me fucked up but anyway so um i'm gonna end this video here make sure you go like comment and subscribe and turn those post notification bells on to all let me know what you think down below in the comments give me some advice do you think i should do it again do you think i should not but anyway they don't really pay that much and honestly all these places are fucking far so i'm basically spending lift money just to get there i'm basically like getting paid for a job but having to spend what i get paid from the job on fucking lift so it's really like pointless and on top of that, like, I got rated two fucking stars. So that was, like, really discouraging. So I don't know if I'm going to do this shit again. But anyway, let me know how you feel down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video.